Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with a cop, Axel, calling Brooks' father Chuck, to inform him he will assist. Brooke was kidnapped by a gang, while on a trip to Mexico with her father's oil company. Chuck was anxious about his kid, and he thanks the cops for assisting him in relocating her. He also promises to pay them a substantial sum of money. Axel Bradley Cal and his brother Anders arrive hours later, at the location of the gang that kidnapped Brooke. They are able to rescue Brooke and flee, but the rest of the gang pursues them and kill their car driver. A furious conflict ensues between the two parties, and the gang succeeds in killing Axel. Finally, the cops are heartbroken because of what happened to Axel. Cal goes to see Bradley, and informs him he's getting married. When Bradley wonders who he's going to marry, he says Brooke. Bradley congratulates him, and informs him he will be attending the wedding. Brooke travels to the hotel where the wedding will be held. Chuck, her father, arrives and congratulates her. She notices her father arrived with security, so he explains that following the kidnapping, he has bodyguards accompany him, because he might be in danger due to his wealth. Her sister, Haley, then arrives and congratulates her. The hotel receptionist, Aaron, offers to take them on a tour of the hotel, because her father rented the entire hotel. They accompany him, but Brooke decides to abandon them and return. She senses Bradley's presence and greets him, inviting him to accompany her to meet her father. He goes to meet Chuck and Haley, and joins them on their tour of the hotel. Cal visits a hotel bar, and sees his older brother, Anders, who has retired from work. He returned from Thailand only to attend his brother's wedding. They are overjoyed to see each other, because they hadn't seen each other in a long time. Chuck informs Aaron he has heard the hotel is fully secured and monitored by a surveillance room, and asks him to take him to the observation room, which startles Aaron, who tries to explain that it isn't necessary. But he is dead set on going to the surveillance room. He grabs him and tells there are two ways to access this area, either enter the code that only he and the guards know, or ask the guard in the room to open the door for them. They enter the room, and Aaron assures them of the hotel surveillance system's accuracy. Brooke approaches Cal and his brother, and thanks Anders for attending their wedding. After that, she goes with Cal, who tells her he loves her, and is glad they will spend the rest of their lives together. He observes Bradley having a crush on Haley the next day, and urges him not to approach her, since she will break his heart. Then he hands him a box holding the wedding rings, and asks him to store them, since he will present them tomorrow. Then Haley approaches Bradley, and inquires about his relationship with California Cal as his cousin, he informs her. They head outdoors, where he tells her he is married. However, his wife died two years ago. His story has an impact on her, and they spend the rest of the day together. When they wake up, they realize they are late for the wedding, so they rush to get ready. Next, we see Chuck and Anders standing in front of the lake. He appreciates everything he did to save his daughter, and is overjoyed that Cal is marrying her. Anders assures him Cal is a nice person, who will look after Brooke. Following that, Aaron enters the observation room, with the coffee he brought to one of the patients. He tells him it's a gift from Chuck, but he drinks the coffee and collapses. Aaron had slipped a chemical into the coffee. Then he contacts an unknown number, who assures him everything will be completed on time. At the wedding, Chuck is quite inebriated. Bradley assists him in descending the steps. Aaron opens a door in the hotel kitchen, and an armed gang enters and murders all of the cooks. He is terrified as a result of his involvement in this affair, and he begs the gang leader not to punish him, because he has done all that was demanded of him. However, the gang boss shoots him in the leg, so he is not suspected of assisting the group. Then he requests to accompany him to the observation room. Elsewhere, Cal requests that Bradley give him the rings, but who, to his surprise, does not have them. He dashes out to explore the hotel, and Haley follows him to the room where they slept, where she discovers the rings. He is checking his room, when he hears a knock on the door. When he pushes open the door, he discovers Haley has discovered the rings, and she advises him to relax, and not be nervous. When the gang boss enters the room, he kills one. Aaron becomes enraged, since one of them was not causing any trouble. The gang leader realizes if he turns off the power to the location, he will be unable to do what he wants, because the backup power generators will start in one minute. As a result, he decides to turn off the hotel's internet access. Anders is in the bathroom washing his face when the power goes out, because of the gang. The group arrives at the wedding location. Brooke is terrified as she watches them. The gang shoots everyone, and they and Chuck's men fight viciously. Chuck, Cal and Brooke are able to flee, as Bradley and Haley are returning from the wedding. They hear a nearby explosion. He informs her this is the sound of a bomb, and that she should return to her room to hide. 
but she chooses to accompany him. The gang pursue the three of them into a pub. Cal tries to assist Chuck. Brooke is hiding, but a gang member tracks her down. But Cal steps in, and kills them. Bradley and Haley are attempting to avoid any corridors where the gang may be present. While Cal leads Brooke out of the bar, and attempts unsuccessfully to get a drunk Chuck out. One of the thugs finds them, and knocks Cal out, but Anders comes just in time, and shoots the man. However, he does not die as a result of the body armor he is wearing. When the gang boss notices Brooke fleeing through the halls, through security cameras, he takes action. He sets out to abduct her. She finds her way to the hotel kitchen, and attempts to hide there. The mob leader, who is aware of her presence in the kitchen, comes. He tries to dupe her claiming to be a hotel security guard, and saying she should leave. However, she is astute, and does not reply to him. He keeps hunting for her, but she is hidden in the refrigerator. Haley is terrified, and informs Bradley that she doesn't want to be kidnapped like her sister. He tries to reassure her, taking her to a room, and asking her to hide, while he goes to help the others. She requests he keep her close by, because she is aware that the location is being monitored by cameras. So he assures her he will try to find a way out, so she can walk outside and seek assistance. He takes out a golf club, and implores her not to leave him. The man shot by Anders awakens, and the gang boss comes to see how he is. He informs Cal has escaped, but when they discover Chuck unconscious, they promptly grab him. The mobster then informs his boss that he is going to discover Chuck's relatives. To wake Chuck up, the gang boss strikes him with a pin. When Bradley and Haley arrive at the wedding destination, they are surprised to find it deserted and covered in blood. Haley is concerned for her sister and father. Chuck awakens enraged at the gang boss, and demands what he expects from him. Because she is close by, Haley hears his voice. As a result, she goes to see him. However, the gang boss shoots at them. Bradley tries to persuade her to flee, but she insists on staying with her father, who convinces her they have no choice but to flee. Then we learn that Bradley and the gang's leader know each other. Someone enters the kitchen, looking for Brooke, but Andrews appears with a knife, and kills him. Bradley irritates Haley, because he knows the gang boss, and she questions him about it. The surprise is he informs this individual's name is Axel. They assumed he perished in the kidnapping of her sister. However, he is still alive, and is attempting to pursue them. Haley recalls her father having a satellite phone, that he left in his room, so they go into the room to look for the phone. A gang member appears on their way, but Bradley dispatches him with the golf club. Then he takes his gun, and walks inside the room with Haley. Axel informs Chuck he was shot while attempting to save his daughter, and his friends assumed he was dead, and abandoned him. He says the gang had kidnapped and tortured him for two months, so that he would join them. Then he went from being an officer to a gang boss. Following that, he shoots Chuck in stomach. He didn't die though, and then Axel points the gun at Chuck's head, and threatens to kill him if he does not comply with his demands. Chuck informs he promised them 5 million in exchange for the return of his daughter. So he pledges to give him his cut of the proceeds. However, Axel demands more money, and threatens to murder his daughters. Chuck proposes the final figure, which is 7.5 million, and will not go any higher. Axel agrees, but warns him that if he lies to him, he will murder his daughters. Then he tells him that in order to exact revenge on them, he would kill Carl, his brother, and Bradley. Chuck is only concerned about his daughters. Anders then disguises himself as the person he murdered, and leads Brooke to the observation room. When he walks in, he attacks the person who is there, who hits him and is about to kill him. Brooke fortunately grabs the gun and kills him. Anders asks her to remain in the room, while he goes to help the others. Cal gets shot by one of the gang members, but he is not dead. Haley discovers her father's phone in the room. But before she can use it, a gang member approaches her, and points his gun at her. But Bradley steps in and attacks him. Brooke closes the door to the control room in the observation room, as Chuck and Axel arrive. Axel attempts to infiltrate the control room, in order to gain access to the computer, and transfer funds from her father's account to his own. After threatening her with the death of her father, he transfers the money, while she opens the door. Following that, he kidnaps Brooke. Carl asks him to leave everyone else alone, and then murders him. Only he has abandoned her, and she is prepared to murder him. Cal, on the other hand, shoots and kills him. Haley and Chuck then arrive. Finally, Bradley presents the rings to the newlyweds. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.